Coach, just, I mean, you've been able to play your games this season, but knowing what, what's happened with Gonzaga and what could happen with Corona, and you could do everything right, but your opponent might have to cancel or postpone. Just how you're handling that as a coach and trying to navigate through well, a stranger. We knew that could happen. They canceled. We're trying to get another game for next week. Um, if we can, to get up to our limit. And, you know, we reschedule. But I think somebody said about 80% of the games have been played. 80 some percent and I mean yeah, that's good I mean it, it's there's going to be stops and starts but if you stop now when are you going to start you, you really stop now you might as well not play because you can't this vaccine I mean it's not going to be clear until summer I mean, you can't wait till summer to be perfectly clear I think we're working our way through it I think kids are being smart everybody's off campus now everywhere. So I think we got a window here of some time. Uh, but even when kids were on campus, we did not have a positive test when the students were on campus on our team, not one. When they went home, we got two players tested positive. And again, one of them was in town and that was just one of those things. I mean, that's why kids really can't go home for Christmas, I don't think. I mean, now you're open. If they go home, they're going to go to families. There's going to be people around. There's going to be all kinds of things. And if then they have to quarantine there and they have quarantine come back. I, I just don't think we have five or six kids that never go home for Thanksgiving or Christmas. I mean, their mental health is fine. <laughs> but Marek and, you know, John, Frank, you know, Jesse, they, they don't go home, you know, they're, they're, they're with us year round. And, uh, you know, we have to help them through it, keep them, keep us together. The NCAA has made some good moves. They've allowed us to have meetings with the players during the Christmas break. They can actually come in if they want and lift and run, which is important because we're way behind. Um, and we can, you know, have them to our house and do things safely. Uh, but, you know, that's what we can do. But I just don't see an alternative way out of this. I mean, everybody's had some issues, football, baseball. I mean, they all travel. We're, we're going private. So we're, we're, we came in here. We went right to the hotel. We don't go out. We don't leave the hotel. We eat spaced out. We come right here to the game. We eat here in the locker room. We go right to the charter and come back. So we're, we're in a very pretty safe environment. And that's what we prove with the testing. We're under one tenth of a percent and the city of Syracuse is between five and 8%. So if you put kids out and if they were out in the community, like you guys all are, they got a better chance to get it out there than they got where we've got. And, you know, and if you send them home, when do you bring them back? And, you know, two months, two months, it'd have to be at least two months. I, I mean, if not more, maybe longer. I don't, you know, then you got to learn how to do it all over again. I think we've got to do what we're doing. I think it's the right thing, but, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what, there's so many different things. Inside dining is 1.4% of the problem. And yet they're closing all inside dining. I'm glad I don't own a restaurant. I don't know how that makes sense. People from everything I've seen and the percentages show, people just go out when they're home. They go out in groups, they go out with friends. They 10, 12 people at a party. That's where, they, that's where this happens. Families come in and you, and you can't blame them, but they come in from some place and they, you know, they, you know, I have one sister. She comes every year at Christmas. She's not coming this year. That's what we got to do. But hopefully we can get through this. Uh, that's, that's all we can do. And everybody says it's about the NCAA tournament. No, it's just about playing. If there was no tournament, I would want to play these games for these guys. If there was no tournament, 
We still, I still want to play. They want to play. Ask, if, is one player in college basketball said they don't want to play? One. One player. I mean, some football players opted out because that's pro career thing, which that's another story. But they want to play, and, I, you know, that's, that's where, where we are, I think. We'll see. See what happens. People make all kinds of crazy decisions. We got people that are supposed to be running the country that are thinking we didn't have an fair election, which is the most, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard. And anybody, any Republican, I'm kind of a Republican in the middle someplace. All these, I would do everything I could. If I had PAC money, billions, I'd, I'd try to get every one of the Republicans that are backing this nonsense. I try to get every one of them got thrown out of office. This is just nonsense. I cannot believe at the highest level of our government, we've got people doing this. Joe Biden got 80 million votes. Everybody said, well, Trump got 70. Well, that's good. We won it. We lost the game 80, 82 to 81 once. I'm not going to the referees and say, you missed this call. I got it right here on tape. So we win, we won. You missed these two calls, we would have won the game. Is that how we're going in this country? And everybody says, well, Trump has 70 million fans. That's not true. He's got a few, 10 million, whatever, but the other 60 million voted because they don't like Democrats. They're Republicans. They voted for, I, I can't believe I watched these shows and they said, well, Donald Trump, they like him. He got 70 million votes. No. About 60 million Republicans will never vote for a Democrat. You can have Attila the Hun. Attila the Hun, you can have anybody running. If he's a Republican, they're going to pull a Republican bet line, period. That's what they're going to do. This election's over. It's been over. Let's try to get moving here. Can't get a relief package put out, but we can file lawsuits against the election. Makes no sense. Makes Our no final sense. question is